Welcome back to Sunless Sky. In the last episode, we returned to New Winchester, turned in port reports, and repaired our hull, and got more crew on board, and all that good stuff. And after finally having enough money to be able to do some real trading and fulfill prospects, I ended up with about 1,600 sovereigns and used that to purchase a couple new bits of equipment for the ship for the first time. I got this blunderbuss type weapon that's attached here and also a mining array so I can finally mine those asteroid things that we've... I mean, I've seen those so many of them. Feels like maybe half a dozen. I want to see what's in them. Probably something worth quite a bit. Hopefully. This cost about 400 so pretty pricey. I'm all done with my business in New Winchester. Um, I do want to buy a couple more bits of fuel and supplies. Let's do that. Six supplies, five fuel. Probably more than I need, but given my tendency to get lost when I'm looking for a place, <laughs> I think it's worth it. Especially now that I've got a decent amount of money. One thing I do want to do, though, is I don't think I've tried to talk with my new officer. We also got them in the last episode. The Incognito Princess. I don't think I've tried to talk with them. No, I haven't, but I can't. I need a tale of terror. To be able to prove oneself a fit confidant. The princess seems intrigued by any mention of daring do and abyssal horror. Okay, we'll come back to that later. So can't do anything with these people. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, right. In the last episode, we took the incautious driver to a hospital because they were having issues with their ear. And we basically just ordered them to go to a doctor. They went to some sort of super rich family doctor and found out that they had some sort of fungal infection in the brain. Not in the ear, but in the brain. Which is making them incautious, kind of making them do different things and change their personality. So I can talk with them about what happened at their appointment. Oh, and also, during that whole medical thing, we found out that they're non-binary. Which is really cool. The incautious driver paces back and forth, clicking their tongue. It must have been the crash, in the nature reserve. My father sent me there to take up a nice, quiet job. I always did love botany. But when they pulled me from the wreckage, I had new dreams to follow. I thought they were mine. Now, how can I be sure? A new resolve washes over their face when they turn back, eyes sharp and sparkling with a flicker of emerald. Either way, I know where I have to go. Old Tom's well. Give me the wheel, Captain. I have an appointment to keep. The well lies to the north-northeast of New Winchester. Okay. Was that the site of the crash, or what? What is Old Tom's well? North-northeast of New Winchester. Maybe I should do that instead of going to Magdalene's. North-northeast. Yeah, I feel like following up on the incautious drivers thing right now, so let's do that instead of New Magdalene's. North, northeast, so I'm guessing it's probably a bit more north than Titania, so I'm thinking of going up this way. Hopefully it's there. Probably won't be, it also could be way, way, way back here behind Titania. Also, let's try to use my new weapon, huh? I think So I think it's on right click? Left click is still the rocket, right? Yeah. Right click. Oh, look at that. It's cool. It's... Oh, whoops. It's pretty fast firing. But yeah, it does generate a lot of heat. Oh, shit. Good time to use it then. I'm glad I got that. That was a perfect time to use it. Another star man explorer waiting for somebody to take the bait, I guess. Gain a hole or examine the captain's log. My hole's a little bit damaged, but not too bad. Yeah, let's examine the captain's logs. Got a sky story and 23 sovereigns. 
Oh, we've already seen this description. Yeah. That was really cool. Yeah, the range is quite short, but damn, it's good up close. How much damage did it do? I think 25. 24. So 24 compared to this thing, which does 10. So yeah, it's like firing, well, about 2.5 rockets. Two and a half rockets every time. I also really want to find one of those things to mine. Oh, they found the other relay station. I've never been there, but I feel like there isn't much point. That'd be the other... The other... Or, I don't know if that's a relay station. Uh, but that's the other platform for the stovepipes if I wanted to turn in port reports there and stuff. Man, look at that beneath me. It looks like an old, abandoned place where people used to live that nature reclaimed. This isn't north-northeast. This is just straight north. But I'm going to follow this and see if I can get around behind it to get behind Titania. Something over there. Let's go check it out. Definitely not the well, way too far north, but... Maybe something good? The fog here is so thick. Oh, is that a hive? Something... Something to crave. I don't know if I... I guess I crave the nectar? Not the stings, though. I wonder if that's the hive that Titania was near to. I assume when they said near, it was like right around the corner, but... Remember, when I was around this place, I searched all around here and it's just all a dead end? Titania's kind of... on a cul-de-sac? There were no hives anywhere there. This could be it. Uh, hold on. Hold on, I need something here to repair the magician's tools for the circus. Yeah, I need to kill a chorister bee and gather its hairs for the carpenter in Port Avon. How do I get the bee's attention? Do I just poke the nest? I, okay, is that going to do it? They're going to come out? I certainly hear them. I need hairs. Please come out. Yeah, that was the opposite direction I wanted to go. I really feel like I should be attacked. Like, as soon as I took that from it. I think they'd come out. It's a gourd of Corster Nectar. Okay. Well, back the way I was going. This game is gorgeous. Oh, 
Oh, okay, there's a hive. I think that was my shotgun that did it? Yeah, shotgun very good against bees. Trying to shoot them with individual rockets would not work very well. Can I get some hairs? Nectar. Listen to its death hymn. Oh, I should read the description. This is the first time we've encountered them. The swarm is a ruin of twitching legs and broken wings. One of the bees, the sigil on its back occluded with ichor, begins its final tremulous song. Oh, the first one. Shave the bee. This is what the carpenter needs to fix the magician's equipment. It would only be fair to draw lots to see whose razor gets used. <laughs> Collect a chorister corpse trophy. Ah, right. They need that to get into the super exclusive club. Full of people that I hate. Well, let's shave it. Fortunately, you didn't draw the short stick. Nevertheless, you're still the one who has to shave the damn thing. The hairs are stiff, sharp, chitin. The razor doesn't cut through easily. But it does so mercifully cleanly once you get the hang of it. The hairs pile like needles around you and are swept up for delivery back to the carpenter in Port Avon. That can't be the well either. Ooh, how far this way can I go? Can I just like go into this spot? Like, is this, is there a pathway through here? Do I hear another swarm? Yes. Oh, and I'm also being attacked by a marauder. Oh, and I am extremely low on health. Holy shit, I didn't realize I was taking that much damage. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Do I need to stop and shoot them, or can I outrun them? Uh, no, I didn't outrun them. That's for sure. Okay, good. I'm not collecting that. Fuck this, I'm out of here. Holy crap, I'm... Damn, ship almost just fell apart. Uh, yeah, it looks like that does go all the way through, probably. And I don't think the well is there unless it's just, like, literally right there, which it could be, but I'm going back to New Winchester. Hull is fully repaired, got a bunch more supplies and fuel. Let's go back to it. I'm gonna go back here, actually. Because I especially want to see if I can get behind Titania, which this might take me to up here. But I also want to make sure that this is totally revealed, too. And maybe take out the person who almost killed me? I think most of the damage I took was not from the bees, but the ship? I'm not really sure. I wish the feedback on when you're taking damage was a little bit stronger. Is there a hive over here? The scent of mulch and wet leaves fills your engines as new growth spread. Oh, whoa, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Something is sucking me up there. Something is sucking up there very strongly. Could that be the well? Maybe that's the well. That was terrifying though. Holy crap, that was really strong. Yeah, like this is me doing nothing. This is how fast it's sucking me in and I'm doing nothing. I probably couldn't even reverse out of that. I think I'd have to go full forwards the opposite direction. Ah, a homestead. You sit down beside a cold, silent homestead. The windows are boarded, the door locked. But the foliage in the garden hasn't grown wild. It was abandoned in a hurry, and recently. Let's search the homestead. 52% chance of success. Nice. The house has already been plundered, but the plunderers missed the patch of turned earth beside the back door. The settlers bury their valuables here, presumably intending to return. 
85 sovereigns. And I may have just stolen a family's life savings if they come back. Ah, damn it. Shit. Sucked me into it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna come back to that. I feel like that's prob oh, hello. Fuck. Stop sucking me into it. Okay, there we go. I uh, took a bit of damage, but not too bad. Eh. Ah. Unusual items or gain sovereigns. I'm pretty good on sovereigns. Let's explore the captain's cabin. Success. Have a salon stewed gossip. The cabin doors did not survive the onset of your guns, nor did the captain. You have to tread carefully. The carpet will not be saved. A few scorched documents sit on the bronzewood desk. They make for interesting reading. Apparently London had need of a few brave captains willing to bring fire to the Tacketies. You would not have expected the signatories of the orders. I'm really low on health, but I'm not gonna leave. Ah. Ah. We do need a trophy for the Somerset Hunting Club, sure. Just need one. The crew set about the creature with hacksaws while the quartermaster prepares a board. Once the entrails are dried, they nail it firmly there. The hunting club will no doubt wish to replace it with something in mahogany or bronzewood once you deliver it. But this will do for the moment. That is gross. God. Yeah, making trophies. Not good. Get their nectar or listen to their death hymn. Gain experience. 67% chance. Or 52% chance of getting their nectar. Hmm. This must be much harder to do, the mirrors thing, because my mirrors is much higher than my hearts, but my chance of succeeding at the hearts task is much higher. Let's try to get their nectar. Failure. Lost a crew. A crewman is elbow deep in B when the beast gives a final spasm and plunges its stinger into his wrist. His death is quick and loud. The other nectar harvesters return hastily to your engine. The few thimblefuls they've managed to gather will fetch a few sovereigns in port. Twelve sovereigns. Sorry, crew. Sorry. Okay, I cannot get into another encounter with another bunch of bees. If I find more bees, I need to turn around. And I think I hear more bees. Oh, just a hive. Eh. I mean, the last hive I went to, the bees didn't come out of it or anything, so maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. I'm gonna try carefully.
maybe there's there could be a random chance that they come out and attack you when you harvest it. Maybe they don't always. Uh, but yeah, you can go right through here. Okay. Can I? I can't repair my ship at Titania, right? I have to do that at New Winchester. Oh God! Oh no! 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 I think I think they leave you alone if you leave them alone. Looks like it. They kind of lost interest. Okay. Unsettled dreams. I'm having nightmares, right? Because my one nightmare. That night, your sleep is peppered with uncomfortable dreams. The sky of your dream is blazing gold. It's peppered, uh, no, crowded, with suns. Suns piled on suns like the groats in a miser's hoard. Their light floods you. It shines through skin and blood and meat, picking out your branching veins and the slender pillars of your bones. Is there no more to you than this? You wake. Seek company or commit your dreams to the captain's log. Gain terror and a tale of terror, or... 25% mm, chance of success. Your engine is mostly crewed by the living. Is that the requirement? <laughs> seek company? You can't seek company from ghosts? There's a low chance of it, but... Mm. I'm going to seek company. Failure. You find other crew in the galley and tell them of your dream. They're unsettled. They had the same dream, too. <laughs> Gain five dare. Yeah, I'm heading to Titania, even though I don't think I can repair here. I just figured it'd be fairly safe, which it is aside from all the fucking bees. Jesus Christ. Um, I think they'll leave me alone, think, but uh, yeah, I'm coming here just to kind of, oh my god, there's so many fucking bees, holy shit. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. This is not going how I thought it would. Holy crap, I have like two hit points and there's like four swarms of bees, Jesus Christ. It wasn't like this last time I was here. Hmm. Yeah, I can't repair here. That's a problem. Right, well, there's nothing I can do but leave. Nothing to do that would repair my ship. I just have to somehow avoid the 20 different swarms of bees. And as I found out, just going directly away from them doesn't always work. Sometimes they will chase you and hurt you. And if I get attacked one more time, I am dead. I have literally a hit point. Shit. I mean, nothing to be done about it. Before I go, though, they have a deal, uh, a bargain, at the bazaar. Carefully packed crate of munitions. I'm thinking when you see a bargain, it's probably always a good idea to grab it, and you could either sell it for a decent profit when you just get back to New Winchester, and you're just selling it normally, but the best thing to do probably would be to put it in the bank and wait till you have a prospect for it. So I'm just going to buy as much as I can. And I'll store it away, and uh, let's go die, shall we? I suppose I'm probably safe if I stay here, right? Right? So I can wait until I have a bit of an opening, like this? Hmm. Nope, back in the dock. Yeah, back in the dock. I am safe here, right? Right? I mean, they're looking at me pretty close. By the way, I need to be super careful about how I dock and undock, because literally if I bump into something, I will die. Okay, Jesus fucking Christ, get me out of here. What is the safest way? Uh... God, I mean, I don't know. It might be safer to go this way and down to the circus, because then I might avoid more bees. But then also there's always a chance of marauders. I, I don't know, I'm just going straight down. Oh, you know what I'm doing? I'm turning off my light. You can turn that off. I think it makes you harder to see, but it increases your terror very fast. Better that than die. A wreck. The wreck gleams with frost, its windows are dark, its engines silent. Perhaps something of value lies within. Could signal it. 69% chance of success. Nice. This sounds rather creepy, actually. 
The windows of the crew quarters are occluded with frost, but what's that movement you saw? Your signaler fetches their signal lamp and flashes a patient message into each portside window. You watch and wait. There, hands banging at the glass from within. A wild-eyed face. You dispatch a boarding party. They retrieve a survivor who's eager to sign on. She proves to be a hard worker. However, her reckless laughter and her stories of the horrid, haunting things she saw from her frosty window do not improve morale. Oh hey, I got my crew back. Happy to have you. 53% terror, that's, that's bad. I wasn't sure if that little piece of wreckage that I just touched would hurt me. Um, okay. I think I'm free of the bees. The Hour of the Wolf. It is late and you are alone. Doubt preys on you. Is this the path you should have taken? You trespass upon the precincts of heaven. What price will be exacted of you? What price have you already paid? Either endure this lean, cruel hour, or drink, drink, and forget the secrets that gnaw. Unlocked when a taste for the bottle is... You are developing a taste for the bottle. Need a savage secret. And I need heirs of terror. Hmm. It's hard to endure it. 18% chance of success. That's what Elizabeth would do, though. They wouldn't drink it away. Gain five tear. I've got a tale of terror now. 61%. Damn, that went up really fast. Your doubts are hungry tonight. They seize on your past decisions one by one, worrying at each like wolves at a lamb. Sleep is impossible. When your shift arrives, you arise haggard and unrested. You splash water on your face and wonder what mistakes you will make today. Cracked glass. Recent damage to your engine cracked some of its windows. Now boisterous winds have shattered them entirely, exposing your crew to the maddening light of the stars. Oh shit. Oh wow, so... These are probably random events triggered by my ship being almost broken, right? So I think you get events when your terror is certain levels, when your health is certain levels. Obviously we've starved before in our, um, <clears throat> dream. And that triggers events, so all these different things trigger special events. I would need a pane of stained glass if I wanted to replace them. So, instead, your crew will just have to endure the starlight and the droughts until you reach port. 40% chance of success. And I failed. Lost a crew. Your starboard corridor is soaked in starlight. Your crew avoided where possible, but inevitably some of them succumb to obsessions. They cannot work if every task must be done in alphabetical order, or every object around them ordered by size or shape or color or date of invention. Starlight's a funny thing, huh? Now with the hole repaired and port reports turned in, let's try a third time. Um, so this time we've gone all the way through here. Let's go towards the thing that is sucking me into it, which probably is the well, but I'm terrified of it. Yeah, let's go closer towards the thing that's pulling me in to my probable death. But first, let's check out these lips. Oh, yes, there is a chance. I mean, I don't want to kill them if they want to leave me alone. Okay, cool. Oh, and there's a grave thing. Eh, I'll just leave it alone. Let's go towards the well. Not that I have any choice, because it just sucks me into it. Jesus Christ, it's terrifying! What if it sucks harder and harder? Let's see if I can... Yeah, I can't even reverse out of it. I have to go forwards and turn around. Um, Terra's going up very quickly, because I, I guess because this is a nightmare or something? How long do I want to be in this? Wait, can I even get out of it? Oh, wow. I can barely get out of it. Do I really want to keep going? No, I don't. 
Maybe this isn't the well. This is actually straight north, and it was supposed to be north and northeast. Uh, I don't know how else I'd get behind Titania, though. Yeah, I can still get out of it. Okay, as long as I can still go back, I'll keep going. Of course, once I can't go back, then I have to keep going. <laughs> what is this? Bat. Diffident bat. Oh man, trying to fly out there? That little bat in this weather? I'm so sorry. There's a fucking swarm of bees here. Wait, I'm sorry, there's a station? D um, hmm? How's there a station here? The incautious driver looks whistle. Father sent me here to work a quiet job. Couldn't keep it. Led better in Stain Rod's nature reserve. Oh, wow. Right. You find a new... Oh, fuck! You find a new station and your terror goes down by a lot. Like 50%. Let's get their nectar. Success. Clearly, you chose the right woman for the job. Judging from her equipment, she's done this before. A set of pliers, a serrated knife, a steel straw, and a bladder. She returns after an hour, her sky suit, sky suit stained with bee, and a full gourd's worth of nectar in the bladder. Where did that sucking come from? Why is it there? My god, that's terrifying. I thought it was leading towards a vortex, leading towards a hole. It's not. So where is it originating from, then? It looks like I still can go out this way if I wanted to. So it never gets so strong that you can't defeat it, but man, is it slow going. And the people don't like it, because it's creepy. Fair enough. Maybe they can tell me about it at the station. Yeah, Ledbetter and Stainron's Nature Reserve. 